Good morning. Welcome to all of you here with us this morning. A few announcements as we begin. Um, women's Bible study will begin this Tuesday at 1 o'clock. Worship and music will be Wednesday at 7 p.m. And Thursday, Bible study continues at 7 p.m. Saturday, Lutheran Men in Mission will meet at ELC at 6 p.m. And um, just talking with Doug, um, we do not have enough volunteers to do children's church uh, so he said we're just not going to be able to have it is that okay Doug Saturday, October 19th is the Baked Potato Bar Soup and Salad Supper from 4 to 7 p.m. And the other announcement I have this morning, um, we received information yesterday from Lutheran Disaster Response. Uh, they're preparing to go into uh, North and South Carolina and Florida to help with cleanup. Um, what they do with their partners is they provide immediate relief such as water, food, clothing, gift cards, tarps, and other needs. Um, since many hurricanes also require a long-term response, Lutheran Disaster Response provides support on the long road to recovery with disaster case management, construction management, attention to unmet needs and emotional and spiritual care. Um, next week there will be um, a better bulletin insert with the information, um, but if you Google Lutheran disaster response, it can take you to a giving link or you can put money in your offering and under special appeal, put LDR hurricane. 100% of your donations to this will go to hurricane relief. Let's begin this morning with a word of prayer. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this day. We give you thanks for all that you give us, and we give you thanks for your gracious love. We ask that you be with us today and be with our brothers and sisters living in areas that have been destroyed by the hurricane. We ask that you be with them. Give them your strength, your comfort, and your hope for a better day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
please stand as you are able. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, who forgives all our sin, whose mercy endures forever. Let us confess our sin and come to God for healing. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have honored you with our lips, but have harmed our neighbors with our tongues. The cravings at war within us cause conflicts and disputes. In our desire to be first, we make distinctions among ourselves. We place the needs of the poor and the suffering last. In your great mercy, forgive us our sins. Draw near to us with grace in time of need and turn us to follow in the way of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. God promises to forgive our iniquity and to remember our sin no more. By grace you have been saved. In the name of Jesus Christ, the source of eternal healing, your sins are forgiven. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray together. Everlasting God, you have wonderfully established the ministries of angels and mortals. Mercifully grant us, Michael and the angels, contend against the cosmic forces of evil, so by your direction they may def defend us here on earth. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, 
whom we worship and praise with the angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from Daniel. A hand touched me and roused me into my hands and knees. He said to me, Daniel, greatly beloved, pay attention to the words I'm going to speak to you. Stand on your feet, for I have now been sent to you. So while he was speaking this word to me, I stood up trembling. He said to me, do not fear, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your mind to gain understanding and to humble yourself before your God, your words have been heard. And I have come because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia opposed me 21 days. So Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. And I left him there with the prince of the kingdom of Persia. And I have come to help you understand what is to happen to your people at the end of days. For there is a further vision for those days. At that time, Michael, the great prince, the protector of your people, shall rise. There shall be a time of anguish such as never occurred since nations first came into existence. But at that time, your people shall be delivered, and everyone who is found written in the book. Many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the skies, and those who lead many to righteousness, like the stars forever and ever. The word of the Lord. We will now read responsively Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless God's holy name. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like an eagle's. Bless the Lord, all you hosts of God, you servants who do God's will. The second reading this morning is taken from Revelation, the 12th chapter. War broke out in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. The dragon and his angels fought back, but they were defeated and there was no longer any place for them in heaven. The great dragon was thrown down, that ancient serpent, the one who was called the devil and Satan. The deceiver of the whole world, he was thrown down to the earth, and his angels were thrown down with him. Then I heard a loud voice in heaven proclaiming, Now I have come the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Messiah. For the accuser of our comrades has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. But they have conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. For they did not cling to life even in the face of death. Rejoice then, you heavens, and those who dwell in them. But woe to the earth and sea, for the devil has come down to you with great wrath, because he knows his time is short. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
The Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, the 10th chapter. The 70 returned with joy, saying, Lord, in your name, even the demons submit to us. He said to them, I watched Satan fall from heaven like a flash of lightning. See, I have given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Nevertheless, do not rejoice at this, that the spirits submit to you, but rejoice that your names are written in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. I neglected to mention that uh, today, September 29th, is the day we celebrate St. Michael and all angels. And um, it's also the day we chose to do a healing service. So part of our liturgy coming up will be prayers for healing and wholeness. Anyone who wants to come up and receive the laying on of hands and to be anointed with oil, you may do so. Um, the oil is unscented, so for those of you with allergies, we're safe. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. As I just said, today we celebrate the Archangel Michael and all angels. And the name Michael comes to us from the, mean, from the Hebrew meaning, who is like God. Michael appears in the Old and New Testaments as well as in the literature of the time between the two Testaments. I'm not going to get into a lot about Michael other than to say that he was the chief of all the angels in heaven. The word angel that's used in the New Testament comes from the Greek angelos, meaning messenger. And the word angelos is sometimes used with a prefix, making it oiangelos, meaning good news or gospel. So you get the idea that the, it's the angels, the messengers, who bring us the good news of Jesus Christ. Besides the angels, the messengers of heaven, we have all probably known people in our lives who might have been termed angels for one reason or another. And so think about the angels in your own lives. Who were they? How did they affect you? I was fortunate enough to have known many people over the years who in some way were angels to me or my family. And I'd like to share some stories with you. When I was a small child, my mom was in and out of the hospital for kidney stones. My father worked two jobs, full-time in a factory and part-time putting up TV antennas. Remember those? Nora, you probably don't. <laughs> my brother and sister and I lived with my grandparents on their farm. And um, my one aunt took my brother to school each day before she went to work, and my grandfather would pick him up in the afternoon. And dad would get out of work, stopped to see us and have some supper that my grandmother had set aside for him. And he would visit with us before heading to the hospital to see mom. My grandparents were angels, and my aunt was an angel for all that she did and they did while mom was ill. And then a few years after that, my dad's company went out on strike and he was laid off, and mom got kidney stones again. It was a hard time. Money went to doctors, the mortgage, food, and the hospitals. 
And when Christmas came around, money was short, and my parents wondered how they were going to do Christmas for us. A friend that my dad worked with, an older man, had no children, and he gave my dad money to provide a Christmas for us. Uncle Howard was a nice man, a kind man, and a good friend. Uncle Howard was an angel, a generous angel. Angels are those who in some way share the good news of Jesus Christ with us, whose lives are lived in loving others as God first loved us. By their deeds, we see God. My grandparents and my aunt were always there when we needed them, and Uncle Howard and Aunt Millie were there for us too. And these are just some of the angels that I've had in my life, and there were and there are many others. We all have it in us to be angels, to be those who by our deeds and our words we testify to the love of God in Christ. We show ourselves to be angels when we testify to the love of God in Christ by sharing ourselves with the world. How? Supporting the local food pantry, supporting Waynesboro Area Human Services, supporting Lutheran disaster response, especially in light of the tropical storms and hurricane damage and damage caused by other natural disasters. They not only provide money and goods for rebuilding areas destroyed by disaster, but they also send in counselors to help people deal emotion, emotionally with all that's happened to them. They go in at the beginning and they stay even after things are rebuilt if the need is still there. One of the things I most like about Lutheran disaster response is that 100% of our donation goes to where it's needed. We are angels when we support Lutheran World Re Relief and the assistance that they give both here and across the world. Their quilt project every year provides comfort for those in need throughout the world as do their personal care kits, school kits, baby kits. We are angels when we contribute and when we donate blood to the Central Pennsylvania Blood Bank here at Trinity. You are angels when you support these and other charitable organizations in our community and the world. And you are angels when you support this congregation, your congregation, by your financial contributions, but also when you de uh, donate your time here. We're always in need of help from putting slides together so that we can go back to using the screens, to becoming an usher, a lector, an assisting minister, a communion assistant, and many other things. When you help with the baked potato supper, or even when you just attend one of the events here. And so think about it today. How are you an angel? How do you share the gospel of Jesus Christ in word and in deed? How will you go a step further to show the gospel to those around you? Amen. As we wait for healing for our world and ourselves, let us quiet our minds, close our eyes, and open our hearts and ears for the voice of our Lord.
As you're able, please stand. Our Lord Jesus healed many as a sign of the reign of God, come near and sent the disciples to continue this work of healing with prayer, the laying on of hands, and anointing. In the name of Christ, the great healer and reconciler of the world, we now entrust to God all who are in need of healing. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Jesus Christ, especially for all who are suffering or in any affliction. Merciful God, you sent your Son out to our peace. Help all those who suffer in pain or grief, hopelessness or anxiety. We especially pray for Gust, Mary Jo, Marie, Sue, Terry and Laura, Mason, Shirley, Charles and Nancy, Sally, Sue, Irma, Jake, Roger, Tracy, Plaster Laugheed, Gary, Cheryl, Doug, Beth, Alan, Don, and Bud and Donna. This week we remember our Four friends from our congregation, Bruce and Andrea, Ivan and Sandra, Michael and Robin, and Bud and Donna. In your great mercy, hear us, O oh God. Mighty God, mercifully grant strength to the weak and comfort those who suffer. In their sickness and pain may be turned into health. In your great mercy, hear us, O oh God. God of peace and reconciliation, bring an end to sickness in the, in the world, especially violence, terrorism, war, and their causes. In your great mercy, hear us, O God. Holy God, Holy One, your Son prayed that your people may be one. May the gift of baptism be a power of healing the church's brokenness. Bless all all efforts for renewal and Christian unity. In your great mercy, hear us, O God. Loving God, mend broken relationships and bring peace to our families, our congregation, this community, and the world. In your great mercy, hear us, O God. 
Eternal God, we thank you for the faithfully departed. Heal the pain of all who grieve in your great mercy. Hear us, O God. O God, we bring these intercessions before you, knowing that you will hear us as you have promised. Your will answered according to the mercy shown in Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Those who would like the um, laying on of hands and anointing, please come forward. Let us pray. Gracious Heavenly God, there is no other name under heaven or earth than the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, the source of all healing and wholeness. 
We ask that you bless all in this world in need, whether their body be broken in body, mind, or spirit. We ask that you be with those picking up the pieces of their lives after the natural disasters. And we ask that you be with them, bring them strength, comfort, and hope. Heal all their sorrows, heal all of our sorrows. We ask these things in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you all. We take this moment to share that sign of peace with those around us. If you're joining us online, please share the peace in the comments. Blessed are you, O God, the source of every gift of your creation. By these gifts and with our lives, help us to serve one another and all in need. Through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who on this day overcame death in the grave and by his glorious resurrection opened to us the way of everlasting life. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread and gave thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. Again after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this for the remembrance of me. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Jesus welcomes you to this table. Come, here is your God. Please be seated. At this time, if you are communing with a prepackaged kit, open the top seal and take out the bread, the body of Christ given for you. Open the seal over the wine, the blood of Christ shed for you. Feet the six winged seraphs, cherubim with sleepless eye, veil their faces to the presence as with ceaseless voice they cry, Alleluia, Alleluia. on the road to Calvary, tried for sinful men, torn and beaten men, nailed to a cross of wood. This the power of the cross, Christ 
tears became sin for us, took the blame for the wreck, we stand forgiven at the cross. Oh, to see the pain written on your face, Bearing the awesome weight of sin, every bitter thought, every evil deed, found in your blood-stained brow, this the power of the cross, Christ became. became sin for us, took the blame for the wreck, we stand forgiven at the cross. Please stand. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace. Amen. Holy God, you have welcomed us to this meal and fed us with dignity at your table. Send us now to welcome others to be at peace with one another through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God Almighty, God most merciful, bless you, keep you, and give you peace. Amen. Strong, strong.
Go in peace, follow Jesus.